If you're going to have a Zoom meeting, I definitely like the idea of having one where you get to drink with some people that are enjoyable to talk to, and then they can tell you about beer and seltzer and oh, yeah. uh, IPAs and all that kind of stuff. So if you're going to do it, uh, you, you might as well, if you're going to have a Zoom meeting, you might as well make it interesting. So thanks exactly. a lot for, getting, for doing this with us. Well, do you guys want to go across start? and introduce yourselves? By yeah, that'd be a great way to start. Sure. Start at top. Uh, I'm Justin. Um, I'm the sales manager for Yingling. I've, it's kind of nice. I've actually seen a lot of you guys out in the market. Rodney, nice meeting you. It's the first time I've actually got to meet you. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. There's reason for that. I'm. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go right ahead. Oh, I was gonna say I'm. I'm actually uh, brand new to Indiana. Relatively, uh, I took the job in January, and then obviously all the stuff has happened, right? So, um, have not really been out to market much. Uh, but I'm, I'm Rodney Lind. I'm with uh, Molson Coors Beverage Company. Um, I'm just now, I'm actually moving to Valpo uh, tomorrow and Friday. So I've awesome. got the moving trucks. So it's, uh, it's a busy week, but very excited uh, to get out there and, um, you know, meet all you guys. So it'll be great. I'm Lisa Kerman. I'm with New Belgium Brewing, and I've been uh, with them for 13 years, um, pretty much predominantly in Indiana, all Indiana. Recently just picked up Michigan as well. So um, just market manager here. And uh, yeah, I think this is this is an amazing, fun thing to do. I wish we would have been able to do it six weeks ago. <laughs> I feel like we're at the tail end of like, you know, kind of getting into that plan of reopening. Now it's like, yeah. man, this is fun. I'm just getting this down. It's cool. uh -huh. I've been with Boston Beer for about seven years. I actually spent nine years with Monarch Beverage, uh, the other distributor, Miller, big Miller Coors House down in Indianapolis, and uh, I'm the district manager for Northern Indiana. I'm, I'm, I'm Chris, and I know uh, I'm a brand manager with Indiana Beverage. I've been with Indiana Beverage for about 12 years now. Um, I know most of these lovely people on the screen. Uh, just recently had a chance to meet Rodney again before uh, all this happened, and uh, haven't had the pleasure of working directly with him yet. But uh, yeah, this is cool. Uh, I'm glad that uh, we have a chance to do this and get together and, and have this talk. And uh, I was hoping I, I had some truly to drink and Justin was slacking. Graham, I'm sorry. I'm like, I've been calling this guy Justin for almost a year. His name's Graham. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to have to enjoy, enjoy my Miller Lite as we're, uh, as we're, as we're having this conversation. Here. So, uh, good, to be, good to be with everybody today and looking forward to the conversation. I've got some truly. I, maybe I wish I could just nice. like virtually hand it down in the square there. That's awesome. So truly, I'm, I'm sampling here the lemon yep. version. Tell me yeah, a little so, bit about that. Yeah, so, you know, we originally started with the regular Truly. You know, we've got, like, three different variety packs that are primarily a bulk of the sales. Uh, and then we're just, you know, always looking to innovate and said, you know, what what can we do? Um, can we, you know, add, you know, some refreshing lemonade to our current Truly base? Uh, so that's kind of what we came up with, you know. So we've got uh, primarily just the variety pack mainly. Uh, so it's got, you know, the kind of the flagship is the lemonade. So it's just our... Hard seltzer base with uh, real uh, lemon lemonade. Uh, it's one percent juice. You know this one's hundred calories, three carbs, two grams of sugar. Um, and then we've got uh, three other ones in the variety pack as well. We've got uh, we've got a strawberry lemonade. We've got a black cherry lemonade and uh, a mango lemonade. So they all have a lemonade with with a little bit of extra you know fruit. So it truly is actually the first seltzer I ever tried. First brand. I like to brag that I was early on the seltzer game, but I, I was like a 2017, maybe 2018, but I was definitely early to the game and truly was the first one I ever had. But I'm surprised the lemonade is selling more than the regular. I would have thought the opposite. Uh, well, I'll take the last sip of this just to make sure I got the flavor down just <laughs> right. Tell me about the New Belgium 1985. Voodoo Ranger is just on fire. We've got an Imperial that's really hot. Um, that sells very well, but this 1985 is part of our rotator series, which means it rotates the flavor every three months. So every three or four months, um, we do some fun stuff. We've got some really great comic book characters like the Booty Ranger himself, and we kind of change it up. And um, this one is our 1985 IPA. So it's a hazy IPA. Uh, it's got a lot of those juicy kind of soft fruity notes that you would get from hazy IPAs. Um, I did pour a little in my glass, although the can is pretty killer, so I can't wait to 
drink out of that over the summer because it's kind of cool and bright. But uh, yeah. yeah, so we just got this really nice flavor. We've got some mango. We've got actually this uh, cool special process that we just started. It's called mid fermentation dry hop. It's a part of a program or a part of a, a piece of equipment that we were able to do and bring in some really crazy kind of aggressive flavors that you normally wouldn't do in a dry hop process. So it kind of brings out a lot of softness, a little bit of mango, a little bit more of like that apricot tropical note to it. So 6.7% um, on the ABV side of things, about 30 IBU. So kind of meant to be, you know, hazy IPAs are meant to be a little bit more in that soft, bitter, less, you know, less bitter than a lot of the Imperials and the IPAs. Yeah. Um, so. Just looking at this and knowing sort of the history of the brand, it's amazing again, how much comes into it outside of just the beer the artwork, the marketing, the communications, the storyline, like it's a lot more than just a couple guys in back coming up with a cool flavor. It surely is. It, it for sure is. And if anything proves that right, um, it's the voodoo situation, the voodoo ranger situation. Tell me about Flight and its next generation of light beer. So uh, the Yingling Daughters really wanted to create something that's going after that population that's not part of our drinking family already. So they decided to create this 95 calorie, 2.6 carb, 4.2% uh, alcohol, light beer. Um, very easy to drink, very clean, very crisp. Um, the crazy thing is though, our, our, we, <laughs> we launched it at the beginning of March. So <laughs> we launched it essentially when all the funness really decided to happen and all that craziness ensued. So uh, we're really looking forward to essentially relaunching it again once bars really do open up and people, people get really get outside and they normally going to be ready for a light beer. Exactly. And I love Yingling for me has been so similar to we were talking about the new Belgium before Yingling was the one that my friends were bringing from Ohio for so long. I have friends that live in Ohio and every time they'd come over, I'm like, Hey, can you do me some of that? And so it's been cool to see, the launch here in Indiana and bringing it so close. But this I love because this real talk, I'm not a fan of like McUltra. It's too light for me. And this has a really great flavor, but the nice. lightness of something like that. Tell me about the black cherry lime. Ooh. Hard Ooh. seltzer. Black cherry lime, nice. right? Um, so Vizzy's our new line. We have four flavors. The flagship flavor is um, the pineapple mango which you can get in single six pack. Uh, the black, ch the black cherry lime you actually get um, in the variety pack, which uh, it, it's one of my favorites. So I'll open it up. I just give you the intrinsics of it. It's 10% alcohol. It's a hundred calories, um, only two carbs, uh, one gram sugar. Um, so better for you. But the thing that kind of separates it and differentiates it from what's it. So that's not just a, a me too. Let's just, you know, take from everybody else. Um, is that we make it with acerola cherry juice, which is the acerola cherry has uh, 30 times more vitamin C than an orange. So um, actually in every case of these, you have 20% of your vitamin C. So, you know, you can drink and be healthy, I suppose, right? But flavor-wise um, and aroma, I think the entire line does a good, uh, or all four flavors do a good job of blending the sweetness of one fruit with tartness of another. Um, so you do get a little bit of sweetness, uh, Refreshing. It, it's clean, um, effervescent, and just in terms of the cherry, um, you get a lot of cherry smell, and um, you, you get a little bit of the of the lemon zest, or the, excuse me, the lime zest. You're not getting a lot of the the lime flavor. It's it's very heavy with the cherry. And uh, if I were to pick one out of the non pineapple mango, this would be my favorite. I, I enjoy the cherry a lot. How have you seen distribution and and allocation of what people are buying and drinking how have you seen it change during this confinement we've seen a lot of different things so i mean it's pretty a pretty broad question but um you know i mean people um you know they're thinking a lot more about uh a lot of things of what these guys have talked about which is that that better for you uh category um simply because well everybody's stuck in their house so uh we all like to think we're a little a little uh healthier than we would uh sometimes claim to be, uh, it's tough because, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of options out there, but now that you're in your house, you're thinking about it more. Uh, so when it comes to a lot of these different, uh, you know, calories and carbs and uh, flavors and lighter and things like that, that, that I think that that's kind of a bigger uh, trend. Uh, we're also seeing a lot of uh, people that are, are leaning more towards, you know, buying 
bigger packages of beer. Um, so when we talk about, you know, the 12 packs that are available and, um, you know, there was, a, there's a lot of different trends and we could talk about this, this topic for hours actually, but, um, people are, are being a, a little more, uh, selective, uh, I guess, uh, in terms of, of what they want to buy. Ideally someday we're going to take a breath and we're actually going to get together and we're going to, we're going to cheers a truly or an 85 or a flight or a fizzy. Uh, we're going to actually be able to clink some glasses and do this in person. Um, but until then, let's, let's try to, you know, take a chill, enjoy a beverage. Don't go crazy with the kids at the house or, you know, your wife or husband at home or being locked at home and, and try to stick together until we can actually all be together. Well, thank you guys a ton. Again, this is probably the most fun I've ever had in a Zoom. Uh, I'm hoping all my Zoom meetings going forward are just like this. Uh, and, for a brewery, they would be. Yeah, quite a bit of, quite a bit of ours are. <laughs> so, uh, maybe I just should work at a news company. Maybe I should work at <laughs> Jenny, see you later. <laughs> so that was this two weeks then I take it then, right? <laughs> Uh, thank you guys a ton, and I hope you all have a great evening, and uh, let's stay safe together, at least virtually. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for the opportunity. Nice to meet you guys. Bye.